Okay, guys, so welcome back to Ark, where today we are hopefully able to defeat the Alpha Center Bosses. So this is the first wombo combo of a boss fight, where we have to fight two of them at once. And well, as you guys know, I got my Pyromane army here, I got my Utai. Last thing to do here on the Utai is enable Ardo Courage. And, uh, I'm gonna whistle passive on all you guys. And I think I'm actually going to ride the Utai this time around. If I could get the terminal to pop up. We're quite literally just hopping straight into this. Boom. Here we go. Terminal is activated. It's J whistle all. There we go. So they're all following the Utai now. Should not have done that. One of them might run out. Damn. I just realized it. Oh, wait. Pterodon. No. He won't teleport. There we go. Oh, my Utah, I gotta remember, he's the weak. I gotta use my, uh, Pyromains as a bit of a shield. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong Roar, there we go. They're dealing a lot here. Utah is already at half. It's those guys. Oh no, the gorilla. No, 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 we're at half health not fun. Something's... Oh no, it's... They're right on me. Okay, this is actually going by a lot easier. It's just the Utah is taking a lot of damage. Okay, the Megapithecus is about to die. Megapithecus is down. That means all the monkeys are gone. So... Attack that target, guys. There we go. That is all the center bosses defeated in less than two minutes. God damn. These Pyromanes are insane. They quite literally... Rip through everything. I got a minute and a 15 seconds here to collect all this stuff. Uh, here's the Broodmother Spliker. And it comes with the Chibi. Where's the Megapithecus? Or is that what it gives me is the Broodmothers? Huh, okay. I thought I was supposed to get one or two crates. Um, yeah. I... That, this episode is real short. <laughs> I'm betting like 15 minutes. Because we're probably going to go back to the base. We're going to start transferring stuff over now. Um, well, again, mind you, we're only allowed to transfer over our creatures from the other maps. No resources and no structures. So. Oh, I can't even do my tech armor. I have to get me tech armor on this map still. Shoot, that's what I mean by like no equipment. Well, I might. No, no, we won't allow equipment. I'll allow blueprints, and that is at most what I will allow is blueprints. In terms of, like, tools and all that. So. This was, ex again, extremely, extremely easy. I thought this was going to take me a good five, ten minutes. Just to fight the, the bosses, but damn. Like, look at this. We're already right back out here. Hey, Pterodon, I need the cryopods on you. I need to get you to land. Damn. Oh, okay. This might be a bit of a boring video. Uh, that boss was a lot easier than I thought it would be. But, yeah. I'm going to get these guys all cryoed up. I got all my cryopods here on my Pterodon. Okay, so I guess I did get... Brood mother drops. Why did I get so many heads? I might need to fix something here with my drops. That might be a problem. 
I'll go check on that here in a minute. Yeah, I'll work. I'll worry about it when we go for the settings video. I'm gonna just get these guys all crowded up. These guys barely took any damage as well. I mean, the ones that were on the front line, like, not even, like, a third of their damage was, or their health was lost. Not damage. A third of their health was lost. Not even that. I mean, that's impressive. This might be my best army yet, the Pyromanes. Again, though, that means they're pay to win, and they really do feel like they are pay to win. I'm not lying. Okay, so all my creatures are in cryopods now. We're gonna fly back home, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna drop everyone off. Um, I still don't have a cryo fridge. I went out and made a bunch of cryopods today just to cryo up all those pyromanes, and I did not craft a cryo fridge. I probably should though. Um, I'm thinking our goal for next week, or this, because tomorrow we uh. Tomorrow we are going to be putting up, like, what was it, Taming a Shastasaur? Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing, is Taming a Shastasaur. And then, after that, we are going to be starting farms here on Monday. And I am proud to announce we are also officially starting Subnautica Below Zero on Monday. Hopefully, hopefully, everything is lined up that I should be able to do it. Um, if not, it won't be this coming Monday, but the Monday afterwards. But we will be, we are starting Subnautica Below Zero. Alrighty, guys. So, uh, I just decided to run back to my island and to the Scorched Earth. And, uh, we went and got all the creatures for the genetic library and our personal tames. Or, well, our personal mounts from the ones that are in the genetic library, if that makes sense. So, sadly, we had to leave Skittles behind because he's not technically part of the genetic library. Skittles is just my first Argentavis. Okay, so we are back home. I just transferred all the cryopods over to my inventory. What we're going to do here is we're just going to start popping out all our named guys. So, we got Larry. Got... Yeah, look at all these guys. We got all these guys. So, these are our guys from the island. Um, I know, like, I, it's weird. I had my, uh, my phoenix over on the island. So then we have Krillin here. The Krillin's my Utai. He's my personal one that I did while we were getting ready to go round two there with the Alpha Overseer. He turned out pretty good. And then Shredder here. He's my new, uh, Serato. Again, uh, we did the Serratos in the past, but they got lost when, uh, they officially added them into the base game. And it was no longer a mod. Then, of course, we got Larry. Everybody knows Larry. Larry is our Rhino Nanthia. Larry was one of the, like, difficult breeding processes to add into the genetic library. But luckily, uh, what are they called? Uh, our Giga Raptors. We were feeding them just Giga Raptor babies to do that. And uh, we got some decent colors and decent stats thanks to that. Um, here we got Goku. Goku is our Kakura, or our... Karkaro? Karkaro? Yeah. Then we got Vegeta or Giga. I think that's as many guys as I'm going to be able to fit over on this side. That is a lot. And of course, everyone knows Littlefoot. We brought Littlefoot along with us. So now let's pop out Piccolo, our uh, Acro. I just fell in the water. I need to swim all the way down here to get You know what? It would probably have been faster to swim that way. Don't know why I did. I'm pretty sure I have a step over that way, right? Yeah. I had a step closer and I that I could have swam to. But there's our acro. Now let's throw down our uh, Anomalacares. Right? We haven't named you, sadly. I'm going to kind of use the Rex here as a shield to protect you. But I'm pretty sure you should be fine. Now we also have the Eryptodon here. Our massive... Uh, is it 2.7 or whatever? Or 2.2 uh, lobster? He's just a big lobster. And technically, I could bring him up on land. And he even has walking animations for on land now. Thanks to un no untamables. Also, if you're wondering where where and how I was able to tame this thing. That mod right there. No untamables. Same with uh, the jellyfish and with jug bugs and death worms and yeah 
I have to explain that every time. Also, I'm sorry if I'm yawning. I uh, just got done getting all the artifacts right before we went to that boss fight. I think there's like an only an hour in between after getting the artifact of the brute and running over and getting the artifact there at the bottom of the ocean. Now, where's the other guys? Something's off here. Yeah, here we go. I think that's what's left. And then I need to pop out the guys that aren't done. So, uh, Helicoprion. Boom, pop you out. Welcome to this map printer. I got some stuff I think I need to start handing to you so that way you can blueprint it. But I think first up on our list is a proper, like, guns to put out here. Because I did attempt, uh, playing Species X. Plant Species X won't shoot into the water. I need to get, like, actual heavy turrets to shoot at them. Okay, so that should be all of our uh, named guys, I believe. Or guys that can be named. Again, we got the Nomalacares, uh, the Eryptodon, that Megalodon's a... <laughs> Just for us to get around. Then we got the Archelon and Printer. Or X Factonatus, and then of course we got Thor, Azula, Emerald, our uh, weird deer thing, Mondo, and Kevin. Okay, guys, so, anyways, now that we do got all our creatures transferred over here to the center, I did say I was most likely also going to allow blueprints only. So I'm going to go find all my, uh, my good tool blueprints so that way I have uh, them over here and I can actually craft me up some pretty decent tools. Also, as of today, I'm actually going to go be changing my drop settings. So that way, uh, my drops aren't completely overpowered. And you know what? Honestly, the only thing that is making me think this is the tech. Full on, it's the tech that I've gotten. And I think I might... That's only... I don't know. I'll, I have to kind of rethink on that. I've been thinking about dropping down the normal loot as well, this stuff. Sorry. I just burped right into the mic. Because we get a lot of Ascended stuff. I mean, I'm going to just drop it down by like one. So that way it's it's a little bit more variation in it, you know? But yeah, anyways. If you guys have found yourself at any point today liking this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys get notified upon me posting videos. And like always, this has been Gunshy Moray. Peace out.